welcome back to my channel. This is Diana with the Paper Pineapple and today I will be working on week 25. I'm slowly trying to catch up here so thank you for being patient with me. Um, still trying to do all the fun things with the kiddos during summertime and vacation and all, the, all that put together um, has kind of backed me up a little bit. but. Um, so today I'm going to use a couple papers from um, the Coco Daisy kit, I'm not sure if it's like March or April kit, I can't remember. And so I'm just grabbing a couple of those papers and then I decided that, I think this is the April kit, um, so I just cut a couple of cards from that, from those papers, cardstock papers, um, they're really cute. And I decided, well, you know, I didn't have anything Father's Day, but I did remember I picked up a pack of stickers from the Dollar Tree. I know it's not really ideal to do, um, to use stickers, but that's all I had on hand. I didn't have anything else that could um, go with this week, with this weekend, and so I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and just use it. So I used some of these stickers. Um, so just an idea if you guys don't have certain papers to go with something, you can just make it your own, right? Um, I just put uh, Mr. Fix-It Guaranteed um, with my on the bottom where my dad's picture is at. And then I decided that I would use My Hero. And I used Fonto, the Fonto app, to add some journaling on my picture. And at the top part, I put some people don't believe in heroes, but they haven't met my dad. And so I thought that was super cute. A picture of my husband with the kiddos. And then the bottom picture of my dad and the kids and I just put a little sticker made like a card strong funny daddy and then I did do a journaling card on the bottom blue plaid picture I mean um, card and just made a uh, space for my journaling and then I did have um, Studio Calco's um, I can't remember what it's called but it's like one of those uh, monthly stamp sets um, for the month of June and there happened to be a Happy Father's Day stamp and so I decided to use that for my journaling card. And um, I used a heart as well and um, yeah I kind of just like made a little journaling card. And the two pictures that I used um, that are above are it's a picture of my daughter at the podiatrist my daughter does uh, cheer and she usually gets in, um, ingrown toes, um, nail, ingrown nails in her toes and so she happened to be had to get one out and so it was really painful for her. But I documented it because she she did it and it, I put one of these little, these little um, cardstock stickers also from Coco Daisy, I can't remember what month kit it was from but it said it's now or never because it had to come out. And so um, she dealt with that, and then I just um, cut the edge off of this to make it uh, seamless and put those two together with washi tape and made that and that completed that card set. And then I jumped over and used another sticker and I just uh, used it, used one that said currently. I love these, um, these um, chipboard stickers, I guess you should say. Um, and so I decided that I would just use that up and I just stamped the Happy Father's Day later. I just go and I journal about um, our dinner that I um, decided to make because usually I like to go all out for my husband and my father. I make this nice big meal for them just to show my appreciation for the men in my life and um, it was a really nice dinner. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump on to the other side. Um, I did end up using these gold um, alphas. I believe I um, these are from the Paper Studio. And this card it says have a happy birthday. This I happen to get from, I believe it's Crate Paper. Um, I can't remember what the collection's called or the paper pad's called. But it's super cute. It's got lots of bright colors in it. And since it was blue, I felt like it went well with the other side of the um, the layout or the protector sheet and so I just felt like it meshed well. So I just put, an, um, I didn't have a one, two ones but I just used exclamation marks and made it an 11 because my son's birthday was on the 24th and um, we had um, he had a couple of friends come over and we sang happy birthday to him, we had a little dinner, we had cake and so yeah that 
this out. I'll later, I'll have to make another layout of just his birthday because I do want to make another layout of my friend Hope. She uh, performed and it was amazing and I really, really want to put it just as a separate, pa uh, separate page or insert. So maybe later I'll show you how that comes out. On um, the picture above, I have my two, my first two tomatoes from my garden and I happen to put another um, chipboard sticker that says green thumb because it is I was super happy to have my first tomatoes from my garden and then the top picture is a picture of us on date night my husband and I went out with our with our friends and um, I did end up making my journaling cards um, I just cut some cardstock paper and just made like a journaling block in the middle and just adhered it and then I made like a frame around it to do my journaling and decided that I wanted to stamp on there. I feel like I don't use enough stamps so um, you don't have stickers to embellish, you use your stamps and those you can use over and over. Those never go get old. So I decided to put in join because I wanted to describe the picture um, of Veronica and I um, cheering to our sparkling watermelon uh, sparkling juice <laughs> it's a cute little tradition that she has started with us because she started first with no, i can't even remember what was the first one um pineapple and then we went to watermelon and then later on during the weeks you'll see that other flavors that we decide to use or to try and so it's just a little it seemed to be like a, a new little um what's it called um our favorite thing that we started to do because she would bring um, some snacks and so we, we always cheered to that and so it was just a picture of us in my craft room because we usually craft and it's super fun so I wanted to document that. On this other card here I'm documenting I did end up uh, using a stamp that says eating my way through town and that I just journal about our date night and we decided to go to Yosemite Ranch and it's one of our top places to eat and it's really yummy and then the chipboard sticker that I put in between us says life is better with friends and I couldn't think of a better sticker to use for that for that picture so then I just use a rolling date stamp and stamp the date at the bottom and I like the whole uh, tracing around the card because I feel like it gives it more emphasis on the journaling and it just doesn't look so I don't know the white stark paper doesn't look so bold and so I just use that and just do a little journaling about a little cheers to our watermelon juice <laughs> but I love it and so then I just jump over to I believe to the left side and then I journal about um, a Father's Day dinner and that's pretty much it I do decide to use um, some puppy um, puppy stickers also from the Coco Daisy I believe this is the May kit and I just use one of these little hearts in between the two um, the two cans, and I thought that looked perfect. And I'm going really simple embellishing because I am trying to catch up, so I'm not taking too much time to embellish them. So, so yeah, this is pretty much it. This concludes um, week 25. I hope that you have. Um, been inspired to work on your project as well. I love watching everyone else um, share their um, project life on Instagram and on YouTube because it motivates me to keep on track. So um, I hope that this does this for you. I hope you um, are inspired to work on your projects. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next crafty video. Bye guys!